If you want the Bears to sign Yannick Ngakwe, let's speak it into existence, Bears fans. Like this video right now. There's a new report out there that this could happen. Going to break it down on today's show. I'm Harrison Graham. Yannick Ngakwe remains unsigned in NFL free agency, but there's a report out there from Chris Emma, 670 The Score in Chicago, saying that Ngakwe is interested in the Bears. So not usually when you see these reports, it's like team interested in player. Well, this one is player interested in team. So I find that pretty interesting. Here's what Emma had to say uh, yesterday. He said the Bears are still exploring the market for free agent pass rushers and potential trade possibilities. Former Pro Bowl defensive end Yannick Ngakwe is considered the top player available at his position. Ngakwe posted nine and a half sacks last season with the Colts. He has posted no fewer than eight sacks over seven NFL seasons. Ngakwe has interest in signing with the Bears, according to multiple sources. Sounds like to me Yannick wants to be a Bear. Uh, in all seriousness, I think he's at least interested in being a Bear, which I think that's good for Chicago for a couple of reasons. One, uh, you always want players to be interested in signing with your team because they believe in what you're doing. And two, I think Ngakwe probably recognizes, hey, the Bears have a lot of cap space still, uh, 28-ish million after a few million of Komet's new deal uh, got put on this year's cap. Uh, and B, there's opportunity there to get on the field because uh, the Bears need more pass rushers. Now, he also added this, which I think could be a sticking point, Chris Simba did. He said he is seeking a multi-year deal, having played with four different teams over the last three seasons. And that's something Ngakwe and his camp have kind of maintained throughout this whole process is, I want a multi-year deal. Now, it seems Ngakwe has kind of let go of the idea of, playing for just a true Super Bowl contender. I think the Bears can make the playoffs. We've talked about this. But Super Bowl, uh, you're probably still at least a year away. Um, but uh, that's the question. Would Ryan Poles do a two-year deal? Um, I don't know because Ryan Poles is very careful. He wants to keep uh, cap flexibility for next offseason as well. I think there's a way you could structure it where it could make sense for both sides. We'll explore that here in just a moment. But first... Get your votes in. Who or would you give Yannick Ngakwe a two-year contract? Is that worth it to you? If you would, type S for sign him to a two-year deal. Type P for pass. I understand both sides of it. One-year deal is a no-brainer. Two-year deal, I can see the reservations. Again, it all depends on contract structure because you can make multi-year deals not really be multi-year deals, right? Like you can front load it in year one where he has a big cap hit in year one, and then it's mostly non-guaranteed in year two. Here's a contract structure uh, I've kind of come up with here. Two-year deal, 16 million, average of eight per year, 10 of it guaranteed, right? You give all eight guaranteed this year, two guaranteed in year two, and if you want to cut them, you only have a dead cap hit of two million. I think that's uh, a fair compromise, and Gakwe gets a total of 10 million guaranteed, which you know, one year, 10 million would be a pretty good deal for him at this point, right? That's essentially what you're giving him. 8 million this year, two next year. If he's on the team next year and plays, he could reach the full 16. If not, uh, you can cut him and move on if you are the Chicago Bears. I think that's a contract I would do. Would Ryan Poles do it? I'm not sure, uh, but I think that's a way uh, you can still preserve your flexibility uh, to close to maximum ability for next offseason. Now, Ryan Poles also recently had this to say when asked about signing an edge. He says, obviously, there's no certainty. It takes two to make Sure, it works out, talking about the bear side uh, and the free agent side. So there's a level of patience that comes with it. There's no guarantee. If not, I'm happy about the guys that are here. And it's not that I don't believe him at the end of that. Like, I do think uh, Poles likes Demarcus Walker, who he signed earlier this offseason. I still think he has some hopes for Travis Gibson and Dominic Robinson. But I do get the sense that he does want to add a veteran edge rusher, but he's been clear. He's not going to overpay to do it. Like that That's just the way he's operated as he's committed to this rebuild. He wants to build it the right way with proper contracts. So uh, we'll see what happens here. We're going to talk more about this as we go on throughout the show, but I want to tell you guys about today's sponsor first. That is Z-Biotics. And guys, when you hit me with a bunch of super chats, typically I don't respond that well the next day. But that is until I found Z-Biotics. Z-Biotics pre-alcohol probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. 
It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut where you need it most. Drink Zbiotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Zbiotics comes in this pack right here, six bottles in there. Very easy uh, to drink out of if you're traveling. Very easy travel case right there. No problem whatsoever. So go to zbiotics.com slash chat sports or scan the QR code on your screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use code chat sports at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription as well so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with 100% money back guaranteed. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Zbiotics.com slash chat sports. Code chat sports going to get you 15% off at checkout. That link and promo code in the description and comments of this video. Back to Ngakwe here, and Emma made this point. I've made this point countless times. I understand that he's bounced around a lot, and he's not a great run stopper, but I just think where the Bears are right now, a guy that gives you, as a floor, eight sacks per year, because that's what he's done in all seven years of his career. If he didn't reach eight, that would be a career low. That's just something you need right now. Like, I, I get it. It's not a all-in, go-for-broke type of season, uh, but you've got $28 million in cap space. Like, if he takes up $7, 8000000 million against your cap this year, that's not going to compromise your future. Like, I think that's something uh, that you can take the chance on here if you are Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears. You need pass rushers like you need oxygen. Like, this team did not get to the quarterback last year. They had a league-low 20 sacks as a team last year, and Gakwe himself had 9.5. There is... Uh, I don't want to say there's no reason to not sign him. Maybe he's asking for crazy money. I don't know. Uh, but uh, to bring him in here would certainly help your pass rush. There's simply no doubt about that. Now, I would need you guys to help me out because our July subscriber battle continues with the Cowboys report. We've picked up 352 subs. Shout out to all the new subscribers here at Bears Now and, of course, the longtime ones as well. Cowboys report just at 246. It's closing time. Time to put them to rest this month. Let's go. If you want daily coverage, including a video later today uh, after today's training camp practice with more notes, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, you also look at just the personnel, right? This is something we've talked about a lot. I like Demarcus Walker. I think it's a good addition. Rasheem Green, he's a career rotation guy. Travis Gibson, good two years ago last year, kind of up and down. Dominique Robinson struggled as a rookie for the most part. You don't have many guys behind that. Terrell Lewis had a decent spring, but like, is he a guy you're giving snaps to? I just don't know. And if you do want to still give some of the young guys some reps, Ngakwe's not an every-down player. He doesn't play the run that well. So it's not like you're taking massive snaps away. You're just giving yourself a better chance on clear passing downs to go get the quarterback because last year your rookie strong safety, Jaquan Brisker, led the team in sacks with four. That cannot happen again, uh, to say the least. So I'm all in on getting Ngakwe. I've been all in on getting him for – uh, months now, we've been talking about this since February, March, April, uh, and he's still available. He's still out there, and it sounds like he wants to be here, like he's interested in signing with this team. So uh, I respect Ryan Poles and how he's building this roster uh, financially. I think he's uh, found a way to do good deals while uh, improving the talent. He's been aggressive on the trade market, getting DJ Moore this year. Uh, but it's not unreasonable as long as the contract's not crazy to want Yannick Ngakwe in Chicago. Hopefully it's going to happen. Will Ngakwe be a bear? What do you guys think? It's prediction time. Type Y for yes, or you can type in for no. Drop your predictions down below. And just real quick, uh, some of the other names that are out there in addition to Ngakwe. Justin Houston, uh, still available. Jadavion Clowney, I've heard like nothing about Cl Clowney this offseason. It's almost bizarre at this point. Uh, Robert Quinn, who obviously struggled last year. Uh, I don't think the Bears would bring him back, but you never know. Melvin Ingram out there as well. Of course, we talked the other day, I think two days ago, of that report from uh, Peggy Kaczynski that the Bears are interested in Justin Houston as well. Who knows? Could you get them both? I mean, I've been an adv advocate for that. If you want to sign both for this year, I certainly would not be opposed. Seems unlikely, but you never know at the end of the day. It's all going to come down to contract structure. I do believe at the end of the day, Ryan Poles will sign an edge. It's just a matter of when. It's a matter of who it is, and it's a matter of can he get the price tag he wants. I think it happens. Hopefully it happens soon as training camp is underway. Appreciate you guys for tuning in to today's show. My name is Harrison Graham. Again, subscribe for more videos. We'll be back later today with the training camp breakdown.